it's a perfect evening for the slug hunt hello guess who's back I can't keep away can I I'm driving home from work today work that's a novelty uh, driving home from work today and I thought to myself uh, I've got lights I've got lights in the tiki hut and I've also got this thing on my head I'm gonna dazzle you know if I can get it to switch on get on there it is. What better way to spend a a Monday evening than slug hunting? Let's go and have a see what we've got in uh, in in the garden. I'll tell you what we have got in the garden. We've got one of them, courtesy of Magical Mick Derbyshire at Old Mac Derby's farm. He's dropped it off for us an eight footer I think by the looks so that means that we've got two eight foot trampolines how good's that I'll tell you what makes a, a magnificent man a magnificent creature he's a top banana sound that isn't it thanks Mick thanks very much for that Paul old Mac Darby's farm check him out right let's do a uh, I'll tell you what we'll start off at the top see if we can get a light on this I don't know whether we can or not but uh, we can have a go, can't we? See if we can. Maybe not. We'll just zoom in a bit. That's the path that I laid yesterday. That's looking alright. get some gloves on really in case I come across them I'll get some gloves I've got a receptacle and some gloves and we're at two times magnification so that should help shouldn't it can't get the light on this camera though for some reason but uh, we'll persevere won't we hey. I spotted one on the way up before where is he There's one. Come here, you get. Yeah, get in there. I think I might have stepped on it. There's one. Look at them, three little pigs, this is the time to come out, look at this here, there's a load, when you look, three in a row there, there's a snail, a snail there, and there's another slug there, I feel like Richard Attenborough, or is it David, it's David Attenborough isn't it, the naturalist. Look at this. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. All crawling across the sand there. I'm just having a quick blimp around, seeing if there's anything else. Right, well, we'll get them for sure. Get the receptacle. Mm. Thought you didn't like salt, you lot. This bunch does. Stuck to me bloody love there, that one. Look at them. And there's another one there. I missed him. One there. Got me all over. If you're, if you're squeamish, I was going to say turn away, but it's too late, isn't it? Look, another. 
over there? See? Sat on my flags here. Black slug. A few little black thin ones, isn't there? Come on. Any more for any more? Yeah, there's a group there, look. The clutch. Woodlouse. Here in the deepest, darkest Amazon, we see the fauna and flora. Nearly missed him, and all. It's big, isn't it? Right, let's whiz around a little bit. Well, this is riveting TV for you, but I find it quite interesting that there's so many of these little monkeys knocking about. This is the problem that we've got down here. We're plagued with slugs. With tons of them. The best time to catch them is when it's, we've had a bit of rain like we have today. And uh, not a lot, we've just had a bit of rain today. And it's damp. And it's dark. And... Uh, they're all out and about on the prowl, aren't they? Now, these are really small ones, but these small ones will surely grow into big ones, into big slugs. I think they're all over the place. Sticking to me flaming gloves. It's ridiculous. Another one. Do you know what? I bet we've got about a, popula a healthy population of about 20,000 slugs on this allotment of various sizes, shapes, and sizes. This is just on this one path. One path, this, that's about 10 feet long. Right, I'm just going to pause you, and we'll uh, I'll crack on and see if I can find another another rich, uh, rich, rich hunting ground. Now we're up in the in the in the tiki tunnel. And I've only found little the little thin black ones. There's about three or four little thin black ones that I've found. Come on, you wig. There's one. Fast, as fast asleep, the air wig. But they've only been the really small ones like that one you just saw. There was about there's been about five or six of them knocking about. And I've looked all inside here. Looked at the little plants all around them. Can't see any slug or snail evidence. So that's good because I don't want them in here. There will be slugs knocking around. In fact, I, as I said, I've just found a couple there, like but. They don't seem to be. Uh, they don't seem to have discovered me brassicas as yet. You always tend to talk quietly, don't you, when you're creeping around in, at, the, at night. It's not late, you know. It's only about seven o'clock. I've just had my tea. I thought I'll come up here for a bit, watching kids' programs on the telly. So, I thought I'll just nip up here for an hour. Have a, have, a, have a hunt. No, no, no evidence on those. My peas. And beans seem unmolested. Okay.
cabbages look fine that's the one that was getting attacked by the slugs but we did put the slug pellets in to the bed if you remember and since we did that there's no I've not seen a single slug in here all right don't they then even in the night time okay let's check the lady farmer's greenhouse so that's the cauliflower in the lady farmer's greenhouse in slug fort number one Where we put the salt in the bottom tray so that the slugs can't get through the salt and climb up the buckets to where our crops are at the top our winter crops certainly no evidence of them in fact I can't see a single slug inside here they're usually crawling up the windows aren't they but I can't see any in here So winter bow kale. That's looking okay. Looking nice those little plants actually. Right, I think that'll do, won't it? So the ones I've just collected have just gone in that bucket there for the long bath. Okay, so yeah, slugs are a major problem for us down here in Eden. There's so many places for them to hide, so much greenery, shrubbery, undergrowth, and uh, ideal conditions really for them. That they're a pain in the backside. Now what we are going to be doing is, uh, in the long term, i.e. early next year when the breeding season starts, which is probably uh, back end of February next year, there'll be a proliferation of slugs hatching out and they really go to town then but at that time of year we'll be getting the um, the nama slug so the nama slug is going to be applied to all the beds it's going to be it's going to be watered in all around and it's the nematodes slug nematodes in the soil there's all kinds of different nematodes these little microorganisms microorganisms and parasites now if you can uh, increase the population of those slug nematodes, they'll kill off the slugs. They interfere with the breeding patterns of the slugs. They generally take about four or five days, something like that, and massively reduce the populations of slugs. And that's what we're going to be doing. But I just thought I'd come down and just do a bit of a straw poll on them. And I picked up the, there was 20 odd of them there in the space of like 15 minutes. Only small ones, of course, but I'm glad that the um, the polytunnel's not got many in. I had a really good look around in the polytunnel, lifted up the um, the trays and stuff, and any bags that were knocking about, and um, there was only about six, and they were all small. They're all very small, like centimetre to two centimetres long, something like that. None in the beds, none in the trays, which is good. It's got to keep my eye on that because. It's, as I say, the slugs are a, 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 they're a nemesis. So to tackle that nemesis, we're going to use the Nama slug, the Nama toads. But that's for next year. Okay. That's Sol from me, the Great White Hunter tonight. Hope you enjoyed that. Like I say, just a little bit of a a bit of a natural history route around the plots. See what we've got going on. There's an AOEG, a couple of. Um, in fact, there was a couple of. Uh, uh, wood louse, wood lice in here as well when I walked in So yeah enough of my madness middle of the night there. It's not the middle of the night Just have a look at the clock there. It's uh, 722 But it's pitch black at the moment, so it's a good time to go slug hunting right boys and girls If I don't see you through the week, I'll see you, th see you through the window I'll be down here on Wednesday again this week if I'm not down before but it's probably going to be Wednesday and we'll be cracking on with some more bits and pieces and finishing off the flagging. There's been a lot of work going to be going on for Wednesday. I've earmarked six hours worth of work for Wednesday. So uh, I might do about three or four videos so I can cover for the times when I'm going down 
and working for payment. All right. So I'll see you. Like, I'll see you in a bit, and uh, take care of yourselves and each other. It's freezing cold. Don't be a fool like me wandering about in the middle of the night. Just uh, wrap yourselves up nice and cosy in a fleece blanket, and watch uh, the little farmer's farm and all his friends, all our, all our YouTube chums. It'll give you something to do, won't it? On those long, cold winter nights. Keep growing your heads down. Catch you later. There's the Nema slug. Slug nematodes. Now, we're going to be looking into how you create your own uh, Nema slug nematodes. But um, we're probably going to be initially buying that stuff, I'm guessing, for £23.99. Covers 100 square metres application that so uh, yeah that'll be going on mid-february okay keep growing with your heads down if i don't see you through the week i'll see you through the window i've been good on my finna remember we love you all Mwah. take care of each other and yourselves bye bye now